Leribu. Waiting you do where your wife take leave you. Now portable style, I go take the answer you now. Waiting you do a lorry bruku where your wife take leave you. Eh? They snatch my wife. They stole my wife. You can't snatch a grown woman or a grown man. Hey, wife snatcher, husband snatcher. No. Let's turn the tables. Wife loser. Controversial media personality Daddy Freeze is known for dragging pastors over doctrine and tithes. But on July 13, 2024, the 48-year-old broadcaster fell on the chopping board of social media warriors following reports that he committed adultery with his present wife, Benedicta Olarindi. On top of that, Daddy Freeze will be paying a fine of 5 million naira to his wife's ex-husband, Paul Odekino, criticizing true men of God in the open, destroying people's marriages in the secret. Shame on you, Freeze, and those that call you daddy. Please, how daddy take enter this guy's name? He paid his tithes to another Ashewo, one ex user wrote. Daddy Freeze no more pay tight, but God said, hold my cup. <laughs> you gonna pay adultery fee, daddy Freeze don't freeze. Weekend we go sweet, now Friday we didn't know. Another wrote. Daddy Freeze goes soon craze. <laughs> he don't do five lives now on his adultery news. One month the OAP. But as you may have guessed, Daddy Freeze always has a good comeback story. This time, he says he's innocent. Because of that, he does not pay anybody for a cover. His wife, Benedicta, has also addressed the public and what she says will definitely shock you to the marrow. If divorcing my ex 12 years ago and starting a relationship before the end of my 10-year divorce lawsuit makes me an adulteress. I am going to wear that tag like a crown with pride on my forehead. So what say you? Let's proceed to the hot gist. Is that a freeze guilty or not? Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. When on a personality, Ifedayo Olaride, popularly known as Daddy Freeze, began criticizing Nigerian pastors over Typhoon doctrine, many initially thought highly of him. However, we would sometimes correct these church leaders with love, while other times, he would be outrightly condescending and derogatory. Daddy Freeze, born to a Romanian mother and a Nigerian father, gained attention for his outspoken views on this subject. Ships, he called their followers, and his goal was to free the sheeple. But is Daddy Freeze really holier than thou? The OAP was exposed in March 2021 when an explosive report made the media personality the poster boy for adulterers in Nigeria. We all hear about husband snatchers regularly, but Daddy Freeze took it further by being a wife snatcher. A high court sitting in Port Harcourt on February 18, 2021 ordered the OAP to pay a 5 billion naira fine for committing adultery with Benedicta Olaride, who at the time was his fiancée. The presiding judge, Honorable Justice Akugunom, ruled that Freeze should pay the sum to Paul Odekino, who was still legally married to Benedicta at the time of the affair. This is for depriving Paul of his wife's companionship and the injury from adultery. The judge also granted an order of injunction that prevented Daddy Freeze from accessing the children produced in the marriage until they were legal adults. It was after the judge officially dissolved the marriage between Benedicta and her ex-husband due to an adulterous act with Daddy Freeze. The ex-husband was granted custody of the children and Benedicta was ordered to hand over the children's passports and birth certificates. Following the judgment, Daddy Freeze immediately appealed the High Court's decision arguing that Benedicta's ex-husband did not serve him the lawsuit properly, making it a void case. Of course, the radio talk show host also claimed to be innocent. Long before Benedicta's ex-husband started these accusations, Daddy Freeze's first wife, Okoyemi Olaride, had accused the media personality of committing adultery in 2014. At the time, their marriage which produced two children had just been officially dissolved. Daddy Freeze claimed that he was depressed in the marriage and contemplated ending it all because Okpayemi was violent. Besides suggesting him to domestic violence, the former Cool FM superstar said his ex-wife wanted to beat his mother after she survived cancer. But fast forward to April of 2017, a faceless Instagram account at Andela Smith accused the broadcaster of impregnating Benedicta while still living with her husband at the time. The anonymous poster, which Freeze believes is Benedicta's estranged first husband, wrote, 
you were so depressed that you went around and started sleeping with your friend's wife. A mother of four, you even have the guts to flaunt her as your fiancé. Is that the behavior of a depressed man? You say you pledged tithes of 3.9 million to a church. Andela Smith, <laughs> if you know you are not a bastard, show your face. If you know your mother was not eliminated by a herd of swine, show your face. You won't come turn for my head now, Abby. You think say I don't know who you be? You go see me for public, you go to run. You know if you look me for eye, coward. You can't come online to the hide behind anonymous name. I know you, and I'm waiting for you. If you know say now your mama born you, show your face. Let me let talk say the molest small boys up and down. You won't come turn for my head, Abby. Why your wife leave you? Talk. And the last Smith thinks he me had a fear. God go punish your mama. Hours after, Okoyemi granted an interview with Bella Niger, revealing that not only was Freeze having an affair, but he also called her Benedicta sometimes. Unconsciously, the woman said a lot happened in their marriage, and she kept quiet because she didn't know how to handle it or survive without him. Contrary to the media personality claims that Okoyemi was violent, the woman claimed it was the violent one. My son has a kneecap that was broken when he tried to cover me when his father was beating me. He is just learning how to walk properly again and started playing football in January, she said. Okoyemi says she understood where his behavior was coming from because Freeze was born into an abusive family, but she had to leave because of her kids. But when the narrative that Daddy Freeze is an adulterer won't go away, Benedicta tries to help him clear his name. In January 2018, she granted an interview with Linda Ikeji's blog. The accomplished culinary professional, also known as Taste Buds, said her then estranged husband, Paul Odekina, was a wife beater and had a different sexual orientation from her, things she didn't bargain for. Even though they got married in 2002 and she filed for divorce in 2012, Benedicta says she had sexual intercourse only 11 times, which produced three children. The marriage is a sham. It's not what you, you taught. For ex example, um, we got married in 2002. I filed for a divorce in 2012. I filed. For the 10-year period we were married, we actually had sex 11 times. I'm sorry. We actually had sexual intercourse 11 times in 10 years. He wouldn't let me sleep in his room. I have to stay in my own room. He would only come to see me when he thinks we should make a baby. Way into the marriage, I caught him red-handed. I walked into him in our living room. And um, I think at, at about 1.30, 1.40 a.m. with a, a guy I can't, I, I can't, rec I don't really know who he is, but he obviously walked in with that person at that time of the night. And I walked into them in our living room. And I can tell you, it was a struggle. When Paul watched the interview, he promised to sue, lamenting that Taste Board's allegations are not only false, they are malicious and meant only to curry undeserved public sympathy and drag his name in the mud. When Paul finally sued with receipts, judgment was made in his favor. Still again, Benedicta rushed to defend herself and freeze, sharing a medical report to prove that her ex-husband battered her during their marriage. Daddy Freeze allegedly started dating Benedicta Olaride four months after she filed for divorce in 2012. The couple reportedly met in a church in Port Harcourt and took things further after. During the dating period, the media personality welcomed a son with the event planner in July of 2015. Freeze also assumed the role of father to Benedicta, three children from a previous marriage and a niece she adopted after her sister passed, a role he took with so much pleasure, mainly because he had no access to the children he fathered with his ex-wife. While speaking with Julius Agu in August 2023, the former Cool FM broadcaster said he hadn't seen his kids in seven years. Later, in December 2023, he told Coral Bidi's ex-husband, Justin Dean, that he didn't even know where his children were since his ex-wife traveled with them out of the country in December 2018 without his consent. The kids are in Nigeria? I don't know where they are. I think they're abroad, but I don't know for sure. Oh, that's, that's, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. In September of 2022, 
The popular broadcaster secretly married his longtime lover, Benedicta, in London. The couple looked happy and radiant in the unconventional colors they chose to adorn for their simple wedding ceremony. We are gathered here before God and this congregation to join together Benedicta and Ifedayo in a holy matrimony. A few family and friends like the celebrity man of God, Pastor Toby Adeboyega, and Daddy Freeze's mother, Smaranda Olamide, witnessed the private wedding, and it appears they have been living happily ever after. Unfortunately, Benedicta's ex-husband is still working overtime to mar the sweet love they share with allegations of adultery. In June of 2024, the Court of Appeal insisted that Fries pay the 5 million naira fine to Paul Odekina for committing adultery with Benedicta. As a matter of fact, his appeal for the verdict given in 2021 was dismissed for lacking merit, upholding the initial judgment that he is guilty of adultery. And this is a tag that the freeze does not like, especially for someone who has been casting lots of stones. The Punch newspaper broke the news on July 13, 2024 and gave Freeze's enemies weapons to drag him to field on social media. Annoyed, the 48-year-old broadcaster called out the Punch for biased reporting. Freeze said their narrative is one-sided. After all, the case has been filed with the Supreme Court, which will give a final judgment. A judgment he claims hey, will be in his favor because he is innocent. Eh? <laughs> now, wow. I'm beginning to believe that somebody paid you to carry that story. I believe it 100% in my heart. Because this story is an old story. The judgment of the appeal court happened a month ago, one month, one month. You are a newspaper. Have you done become old paper? And immediately, we took them to the Supreme Court. The case that you are reporting is an old case that is now in the Supreme Court. You have my number. Me and Unadon get several correspondences. Why, if truly you were unbiased, if truly journalism was your forte, why didn't you reach out to me? You see, eh? There's somebody trying to sell a particular narrative. And that person will go see that narrative sell because all of us live here. And I'm not paying anybody any five million because I'm not guilty. Ask anybody how much it takes to go to court of appeal or to go to Supreme Court. You will know it is not five million. So I'm not paying anybody any goddamn five million because I no commit any adultery. And I'm ready to go to the Supreme Court to prove it. It's a simple matter. Supreme Court is final, and that's where we are. And trust me. We are going to win because I trust the competence of the judges and the competence of my legal team. Oh, bad go. Live session later on Instagram, Free said it would never pay cover, not because he could not afford it. I mean, check out the 100 million naira loan on his wrist, but because he didn't do it. I will pay the adultery fine. My wristwatch alone cost over 100 million naira, but I am innocent. This happened many years ago. I was going through serious torment. So was the lady. And we both jammed many years later in church. This happened over 12 years ago. He stated, also taking a swipe at his wife's ex-husband, that the priest shared loved up clips of him and Benedicta and wrote, Hashtag Pepe Dem at Tasteboards NG. Love always wins. I beg me them ask that kukute wo tori toro mokbe when they cry up and down for social media for the last 12 years to tell the world why his ex left him. Well, Paul Odekina didn't have to respond because hours after, Benedicta took to her IG to share details of her former marriage. During the live session, the event planner said she filed for divorce 12 years ago. It was after filing in 2012 that she started dating Daddy Freeze. But because the marriage was not officially dissolved at the time, her ex insisted that it was adultery. If you put the adulterous tag on my forehead, I will wear it with pride. I divorced my ex 12 years ago. I filed for the divorce. 
So if they are trying to change the narrative to make it look like I was caught in an adultery and he divorced me, that is not the case. I filed for a divorce from my ex based on our sexual differences, our sexual orientation. We have different sexual orientations. That is the story. That is the story that can never, ever change. No matter how they try to disguise it, I filed. In court, taste boards recalled how her ex-lawyer, a senior advocate of Nigeria, called her a prostitute. Still, in response, her lawyer told him to bring evidence that she and Freeze were having an affair or even knew each other before 2012. But guess what? No evidence. And I remember quite clearly in court, my lawyer asked them if they had any evidence whatsoever to show that I knew who Daddy Freeze was or Daddy Freeze knew who I was before 2012. They should bring the evidence forward. Up until today, no singular evidence to show that I knew who Daddy Freeze was before I filed for a divorce. Benedicta used May Edoche as an example, explaining that if May starts dating someone new after filing for divorce from y'all, the court counts it as adultery. This is because in Nigeria, the laws and courts are heavily biased against women, but for men, they are very lenient. It's like saying presently, if you, uh, May, you, Edoche, should decide that she wants to start dating, she is committing adultery, right? Legally, Legally, they will say May Yu Edoche is committing adultery because her divorce is not yet final. But is she still practically married to you? The answer is no, they are not, right? So any woman that files for a divorce and decides to start dating is an adulteress. But any man that files for a divorce can go ahead and remarry even before that divorce is finalized. Men can remarry even without filing for a divorce from their ex-wives. Men can remarry even without asking permission from their wives. But women cannot date after filing for a divorce. That is the country we live in. And that is why I am doing this live. You see, this narrative has to change. This narrative has to change. Women are not slaves. When a woman files for a divorce from a man, she's no longer married to that man. And the divorce is taking years to happen. If that woman should find love, she has every right, every right to be happy in that relationship. And if that comes with a price tag, of being called an adulteress wear the adulteress tag with a crown wear it boldly with a crown i'd rather be called an adulteress for filing for for a divorce moving on with my life as a single woman and dating than to be in a marriage where i am cheating the professional ketra said a divorce took 10 years to be finalized Yet she filed because of different sexual orientations, toxic marriage, and battery. Taste boards emphasized the sexual orientation, saying her ex was not heterosexual, and to cover up for him, he asked her to get a boyfriend outside their marital home, but she opted to leave. If I were so bad, if I was such an adulteress, it is 12 years since I left you. Can you leave me and my new husband? let us have peace you've been going about crying for the past 12 years they stole your wife they stole your wife making me look like a commodity like a piece of furniture that has no voice i am a human being i am a woman i have a voice i am not a piece of furniture for any man to steal to carry to lift this has been going on for 12 years. They stole your wife. They stole your wife. We are presently in the Supreme Court. We moved from the court, High Court to the Court of Appeal. And as at last month, we moved the case to the Supreme Court. 
Until we get justice, we are not resting on this matter. I asked for joint custody. My ask asked for sole custody. That's where all this problem is coming from. Why would you ask for sole custody? You are telling me you have a sister that is mature enough, a sister you trust to raise my children. So I shall hand over my children that were 10 year old, eight year old, and I think six year old to your sister to raise, right? So that is where all of this is starting from while I wanted joint custody. For every woman going through a divorce that believes that because our judicial system takes 10 years to 12 years and even more to issue a divorce certificate. If those women believe that because they are going through a 10-year divorce, a 12-year divorce, they don't have the right to find love. They don't have the right to move on with their lives. I am doing it for those women. In concluding a point, Taste Bud said she is not faced by the appeal court's judgment because that the freeze is a happy place. I am in a happy place that the freeze makes me happy. He has given to me what I could not get with my ex. He is helping me raise children that are not his. When my ex refused to pay his children's school fees, he refused to send feeding money, no accommodation. For the past 12 years, I have been feeding my children, clothing them, sending them to school, caring for them, unassisted. Why? Because I asked for joint custody. The likes of Very Dark Man are on social media, dragging freeze. In a viral video, the social media commentator mocked the media personality while begging him and taste Bud's ex-husband to jump on a live interview with the him. The question here is, did you knock her when she was still legally married? Because if you did, no problem. I'll bring the man come my life. Ingo can tell us in part of his story. Then I'll bring that the freeze come my life. Because now so in the do. Now so in the do. You understand? You know I tell you don't now. Tell us guys, what do you think about that freeze's ordeal? Do you still believe that he is innocent? Or did he commit adultery under the law? Do you agree with Benedicta that the divorce law is unfair to women? Finally, will Freeze and Paul Odekina take VDM on his offer to discuss the allegations face to face? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.